we're joined by former two-time TNA Knockouts champion, Brooke. Brooke, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. How are you? Good, thanks. Yourself? I am doing amazing. I'm in London. We just did the Comic-Con. It, it was a pretty fantastic trip so far. That's great to hear. Um, obviously, before getting into wrestling, you are a model. Yeah. How did you make the jump from model into wrestling? Um, as for me, um, there, was like, there was no jump. It was pretty relatively easy. I kind of just flew into it. It was like an easy flowing thing. Um, luckily, you know, a lot of people don't, don't have that ease. But um, yeah, growing up, I, I never wanted to be a pro wrestler. It wasn't something that I always dreamed of. It was something I, I was fascinated by because we used to watch it um, weekly in my family. You know, my twin sister and I would be glued to the TV like this close, and my mother and my father. And followed by that, we'd either watch before or after bull wrestling. So it was just our, our wrestling night in general. Bull wrestling is from the rodeo. I don't know if you're familiar with it. In Texas, we have rodeos. It has to do with, you know, big bulls and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, going through modeling, I was a bikini model. Through that, I got into the fitness world and started doing figure competitions. And um, through that, I just had an agent tell me about the Diva Search. And I went, auditioned. I didn't make the final. I think it was eight at the time. It's either six or eight. I can't remember. And, I mean, I, I think there's a clip of me just crying and so many just tears as I spent all the money I had. I had no money at that time just to be there to try to blow them away and – thought I lost the opportunity and I was blessed with a um, with a development deal, developmental deal right out of the bat so it's pretty cool <laughs> in the last few months you've been off screen um, can you give us a hint of what to expect from you in the near future well I can let you know that I've been off off the TV for for a little bit and Robbie E and myself have been shooting the amazing race which is going to air in September which is going to be really really exciting but since I have been gone I've got to to rest up and uh, do a little bit of training and some more research and keep my keep an eye on what's going on in the knockouts division I know Gail Kim is now the champion and uh, Angelina Love has now made her way back as well so you can tell I've been gone for a while which is only like it's it's only made our our division grow but i'm ready to get back in there and go for you know the gold again the knockouts championship you've been in the ring with the very best knockouts who for you is the toughest you've stepped up against 100 percent the toughest female wrestler i've ever been against would be gail kim um i always say i think she took five years off of my life she really gave it to me um but I can tell you, I have grown tremendously. I would have never been able to grow and exceed the limits that I have now without wrestling Gail Kim. She has taught me so much about myself, so much of myself as a worker, so much of my as, uh, as just a pro wrestler in general. You know, um, I, I couldn't stand her during our feud, but I, I truly look up to Gail. She is an exceptional athlete. There's so much to be learned from her, so much. And uh, we're so blessed to have her in the knockouts division. How much credit does TNA deserve for putting so much focus into the knockouts division? I don't really know how to answer that. Um, I mean, I think they deserve all the credit in the world. Right now, you know, this is a male-driven sport. Everybody knows that. And, you know, now we have our own website. We're getting really awesome photo shoots, and, we're, you know, we're getting more of a chance to shine you know, than rather than being in the background. And I think we deserve it, too. If you, if you tune in every week, you'll see that our girls, we're tough. You know, we're not like the, the ring card girls. I get that all the time. What are you, you're a wrestler? You're so cute and little. Do you just go out there and wave? No, girl, I jump off the turnbuckle. That's what I do. <laughs> so, yeah, I think they, they do deserve all the credit in the world for that. That's awesome, and I, and I hope they, they keep feeding it to us because, you know, we can't shine without giving the push and without giving, you know, a chance to do so. TNA have recently inducted their first tag team into their Hall of Fame. How long do you think it's going to be until we see a knockout inducted? Good. That's a good question. Um, you know what? I really don't think it's going to be long. I, I really have a feeling now that we have, you know, that we started the Hall of Fame and there's a few inductees that I would have in mind who it would be, probably like Gail Kim. You know, I feel like that could be in the near future, maybe not next, but the year after that, which I think is rightfully deserved. Okay, Brooke, thanks a lot for your Thank time you. and best of luck for the future. Thank you so much.